to Angels Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for our daily message for Thursday, July the 8th, 2021. And of course, we are starting with your love bird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels and guides, positive energy, please. Positive energy for the love birds for 24 little hours. I feel like it is that one. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, angels. Angels, positive energy for the lovebirds for Thursday. Just one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have trust. Yes. Breathe in and breathe out. Let go of trust. There is absolutely, undeniably love between the two of you. There is a feeling of lightness within your relationship today. Trust it flow with the love. All right. Now, does that feel delicious? Let's move on to singles looking for love. Angels and guides, positive energy, high vibrations. Yes. For singles looking for love. There it is. Hmm. What is going on? Yes. With singles looking for love. Angels, high vibrations, please. Ah, there it is. We have life life, purpose, and play. Yes, step outside, feel the sun, breathe the air, play, and have some fun. So whatever you're meant to do on this journey, whatever your life purpose is, do that. Enjoy that. When you do, when you play in that element of whatever your life journey is supposed to be on or follow. Whether you work on cars, create TikToks, teach, um, whatever it is, enjoy it. And that's, get on your life purpose and you, and find the joy in your life purpose. And guess what? Yeah, they're going to be there. Mm -hmm. Doing exactly, exactly what you do on your life purpose. Now, let's move on. Yes, yes, yes to everyone that is right here with me. Thank you, angels. What's going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. What's going on with everyone right here? There we go. One from my mama's deck as usual. Come on, angels. What's going on? What's going on? And topping it off with the hummingbird deck for Thursday. Okay, so are we ready? Are we ready? As our feet hit the ground, we have the tower card. The tower card now is reversal. Expect, expect something new to happen. Ground breaking, earth shattering. You weren't expecting it. It feels like with the Ace of Wands, something is halted, something that you were looking forward to. The Ace of Page, yeah. If there was something that was, um, it was, if it was a conversation that was um, given half-heartedly, if there was, um, I'm just picking up something that was given half-heartedly. Wasn't, you know, sometimes we say, Look me up. Look me up when you're in town. You don't really mean it. You just kind of, you know, you just kind of say it just in the moment, right? It's kind of like that. Something was, some communication with, that was given half-heartedly. I feel like with the gather card, you expected this. You expected to look them up <laughs> when you were in town. With the seven of hearts, it feels like it wasn't as thorough. It wasn't as meaningful as you thought with the Ten of Diamonds, but I still see by the end of the day, I still see you landing in a super good spot. So don't worry if things don't land the way you want them to. Don't worry if um, someone said something and let's say they said, I'll be there at four. Maybe they won't be there till five or six. Maybe they didn't really mean they were coming at all, okay? Or this wasn't, or maybe someone was um, about to, I feel like it's, it's like, you know, I feel like, I feel like we know as soon as we wake up, we know that something is not going to start. We feel the pushback. We know that whatever was said, it was said a bit half-heartedly. So we gather ourselves together. Yes, we do. And detach. We literally detach from all of it. Like, okay, they didn't mean it. But for some strange reason, the Ten of Diamonds is saying there's still 
joy around you. Can we get a clarifier? Because all of this is like, but it turned out great. So let's take a peek here. Hmm. I need to be a little bit nosy. What's going on? How does this turn out so wonderfully? Come on, angels. How does this turn out so wonderfully? May we have, yes, yes, just thank you, thank you, thank you. The eight of clubs, power in our mind. Whatever it is, we have the power to let it go. We have the power to detach from it. Yeah, and go focus on yeah, something that is positive, something that is giving to you, something that is definitely giving to you. Now, something better okay so maybe that person did come to town hypothetically speaking but maybe they didn't come to um or maybe that that deal that they half-heartedly promised yeah maybe there's something that's so much better than that no there is something so much better than that okay all right now we're going to add one from the buddha deck for the spiritual message for the day and that is purification yeah we're getting rid of that half-hearted we're giving we're letting go of that you know sometimes people just talk to hear themselves talk and you're like dora that's what you're doing right now well no i'm just telling you okay it's time to let that go it's time to purify yourself let it go and move on to greener pastures today and there's big pastures greener okay i'm gonna leave it there i send you joy namaste and much much love sent your way